Hello, Herman here with another episode of the ClearPass Workshop Series, where we build a ClearPass deployment from scratch and integrate with wired wireless, Active Directory, and much more. In this episode, we will play with guest operator profiles. So, what are guest operator profiles? Uh, what we do have here in our policy manager, if we go to ClearPass Guest, you can see that we have a lot of features here. Um, what you can do with the guest operator profiles is give specific people access to uh, yeah a few parts of this uh, web interface and just that uh, so this allows us to uh, have receptionists create guest accounts for example so first we need to uh, show you how you can put uh, operator profiles so if we go here to the administration to the operator logins we can see that there are already a lot of profiles in here so we have yeah uh, device registration profile we have receptionist profiles um, um, all stuff like that and if we go in so for example for the receptionist uh, we can edit here we can see in detail uh, what is allowed access for this specific user so um, yeah it does not have uh, administrator access it just has access to the guest manager and it can see um, yeah, active session. So um, yeah, let's uh, put that on full uh, for this. Uh, in this case, um, the active sessions history. So and uh, let's also um, create here, create multiple guest accounts. So we can uh, the features that we have here on the left. We can here decide what is allowed and um, and what is not. So. Let's save these settings. So we have some more features now for the receptionist, what we will be using uh, later on. Then what is important to understand is how these operator profiles are assigned to uh, to the user when logging in. Um, that uh, the key in there is these translation rules. So here we have some translation rules and uh, what it will do is it will uh, yeah map on expressions and then uh, set uh, values but uh, the most important here are is the number seven which is in there by default uh, what will do um, um, it will take the attribute returns admin privileges and then it will set it to the operator field so basically what we need to do when the user is logging in from ClearPass we need to return uh, either the receptionist or the device registration profile uh, which we are using in this demo. So let's try that. Go to our ClearPass policy manager. Uh, we need to go, um, like always, to the profiles. And uh, here we need to create some uh, new enforcement profiles. So we go to add. And in this case, it is an application enforcement. So we uh, use ClearPass for the authentication. And then we return an application um uh, application uh, enforcement back to uh, to clearpass so um let me give this the name ws operator and we can uh yeah put a description in here then we go here to the attributes we need to add an attribute and here uh, we can type admin privileges and then the attribute value receptionist. The one thing here, uh, what sometimes uh, goes wrong is that people use the drop down, um, and yeah, there is no admin privileges in here. So there are a lot in there, but no admin privileges. But uh, yeah, you can just uh, put your mouse in here and uh, just type it, um, and then um, it will work. So uh, just type the value. And then it will be uh, okay. So let's save this one and create an other one for the device registration. And here for the, um, oh, it's not an Aruba role. So let's put it back here on the application enforcement. And then again here. And this device registration, it should match here the device registration in here because due, due, due to the translation rule, there will be a direct um, 
translation and direct match. So now we have the profiles. We need to create the policy and let's create that policy. So this will be an application enforcement and here um, by default, of course, we deny access. Here we create the rules and uh, what we can do here is uh, use our role mapping. So if the tip tips role equals um, WS employee, we return the application device registration. So employees can do device registration. Let's put that one in. And another one for the help desk. And we give the help desk the receptionist role. So which we extended a bit. So now we have the policies and the profiles. Uh, last thing we need to do. Oh, yes, we want to save it. Last thing we need to do is to create a service and we will create it here under the administrative logins. So create a new one. Um, and again here, this will be an uh, Aruba application authentication. So give it a nice name. The authentication search for guest operators. So the application name that needs to be guest. And then here in the authentication, we simply pick our AD again. We pick our existing role mapping again. So depending on the AD group, people get access to the specific roles. And here in the enforcement, we have the just created guest operator profile. So that should be it. And then uh, let's reorder it so we can make this one part of the admin policies. So this looks good. So now let's test. So create a incognito window, which is the easiest way to test it. And uh, now we can go to our ClearPass server. And uh, instead of going to tips, we go to slash guest where we have a different uh, login. So this will be uh, the operator login as it uh, as it shows. What we can do here is uh, put user one and its password. So, and what you can see here is that we can create devices. Uh, we can manage devices and these will be placed into the guest device database. And we can use this for authorization. So this can be used on campuses for people to uh, register their uh, Apple TVs, their uh, devices that cannot really do dot one X um, and uh, yeah, people can put their own uh, devices in the database. So uh, let's show you in the access tracker what happened. So here in the access tracker, we can see that the user one had an application authentication and here in the output, we returned the device registration. Let's go back and now try to log in as help desk and the help desk user, the help desk user should get the create account. So here we can, yeah, just create an account So create an account. Herman for Aruba. Oh, I'm the sponsor of this account. So this allows me to, um, oh, this allows me to create a guest account or what we can even do here is with create multiple, if we want to have 10 accounts that are um, valid now and they uh, will be uh, valid for 30 days, um, we can just create them here. And uh, now we have 10 accounts here um, and we can even export it as a CSV file so we can print nice vouchers uh, from this uh, from this data. Um, yeah, and this all can be done by uh, non admin users because they only have access to this uh, specific place in the screen. And yeah, let's try to do another one. Um, so if we have a contractor one. 
this one shouldn't have access. So here we see invalid username or password. And if we go back to our access tracker, we can see indeed that it has denied application access profile. So, and this is uh, how we can uh, use operator profiles on the guest side uh, to allow people to log in specifically to a small part of the ClearPass guest web interface. Uh, by the way, um, a lot of features like the role mapping have been uh, used earlier on in this uh, video. So if you didn't get it, um, please look to the other videos. Um, there is a video on the role mapping um, and that yeah, was reused here to uh, map users and help desks to the correct operator profiles. So that for this video. Um, I hope you liked it. If so, uh, please put, press the like button below this video. Uh, put your comments and please subscribe to this channel so you will be the first to know when there are new videos out.